Interdicted Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Public Service, Jimmy Luamafa, equally interdicted Principal Accountant Christopher Obey, his deputy David Oloka Apila, and six others will have to wait a little longer to have their day in court again. This after the state suspending hearing into the corruption allegations against them here at the Anti-Corruption Court Division of the High Court. According to Senior State Attorney, Jen Francis Abodo, who is prosecuting the case, the state cannot proceed with hearing the case due to lack of operations funds to facilitate witnesses. When NBS TV pressed her to explain what that means, the state attorney was not forthcoming. Besides, the state also asked Grade 1 Magistrate Sarah Langa, who is hearing the case, to adjourn hearing to a further date to allow the state amend the charge sheet. Interdicted Permanent Secretary Jimmy Ramafa and his eight co-accused, including interdicted principal accountant Christopher Obey, his deputy David Oloka, have been charged with embezzlement, abuse of office and theft, causing government a financial loss of $165 billion in pension funds. When NBS TV contacted judiciary spokesperson Arias Chisauzi on the suspension of the hearings at the anti-corruption court, he expressed ignorance of the development. For us as, a, as a, an institution, I'm not in any way, I've not been in detail or no information has been communicated to me that there are no facts. So that may be on the other institutions that are dealing with the prostitution of the matter, not the court. But he explained that the judiciary, just like other government departments, are often cash strapped. And lack of funds in one department can affect the operation of others, and court is not insulated from such vagaries. Justice is not done by one, one judge or judicial officer. It's a collective effort. Once one institution is affected with, say, uh, inadequate resources, or it is not able, it's not repaired, this affects the administration of justice because it's not made by one individual. Uh, once it is true that uh, there are no funds from, uh, from one department or institution, then it has to impact on the, 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 the flow of cases. The pension scandal suspects were charged on 29th January this year and later released on bail. Court will resume on 15th July for mention of the case. Baker Zena, NBS Television.